Corey Simpson from field, sophomore. For third and fourth place, a senior from Miami Trace, Trent Duffy, versus Tristan Gilliland from Clovis. 113-pound championship match, Jose Rodriguez, junior from Perry, versus Hayden Lee, a senior from Perry. 113 pound championship, 2014 Top Gun Alliance Ohio, that's Jose Rodriguez, he's got his back here right now, he'll be on the left of the screen, green ankle band, taking on Hayden Lee of Marysville, Rodriguez your defending state champion in Ohio in Division 1, there's a go by and two takedown Lee. Lee up 2-0 early on Jose Rodriguez. And Rodriguez doesn't think he got taken down. He did. So Lee, definitely the underdog here. Hayden Lee, the senior from Marysville. Sean Andrews, your head coach. Double boots for Lee right away on Jose Rodriguez. Looking to stretch him out. And I don't know if Rodriguez is trying to shake him off or what's going on, but he, that's nice. It's good stuff on top there. Great hip positioning there for Lee, Hayden Lee, the senior from Marysville. The Marysville Honda Accords, as I like to call them. Lee putting in work right now on top, looking strong. Rodriguez has no answer thus far. Lee running a power half. Rodriguez has his toe and his foot. Now we should see swipes for Lee. It was close. Got to watch four on the body there as Lee is looking to slide the right boot in and stretch the hips out, and he does, does that. Got to be careful on Lee's foot there. Rodriguez has a hold of it. 35 seconds left in the first period, and Lee doing work on Jose Rodriguez on top right now. And now Rodriguez is curling the foot, and it's just kind of tightening... Lee's hold. 15 seconds remains. First period. Clovis has a guy over on third and fourth place match. So right now when we're talking team race here, Clovis has extended their lead with the win at 106. 279 to 265. They got a 14 point lead. They had a 12 point lead. Going into the 106 final, now they got a 14 point lead. So they've extended their lead. A win here by Rodriguez would be huge, but now he's down 3 0. Hayden Lee is taking him to task, man, and kind of all over him. Came out with that first little slide by and rode him like a dog. Lee, black singlet, right angle band. Clovis looking for a fall over here at 113. So they are just putting it on Maslin Perry now if they get the fall here at 113. The loss by Rodriguez is not a good start to the round. And there's a fall for Clovis over there in the third place match. As Rodriguez pushes Lee off, he's down 3-0. Lee dominant thus far. And another takedown by Lee would I don't want to say ice this thing, but oh, Jose Rodriguez not looking like himself right now. Or maybe Lee's just putting it on him. Maybe that's it. Lee doing a good job going at three points, slowing the tempo of the match down. 
Maslin Perry does not like that. They like a real high tempo. Oh, that was nice exchange there. Lee sitting on his butt on the edge of the mat almost. And Rodriguez is going to get pulled off by Lee. Lee doing a nice job of defending his legs there. Off the restart in the second period here. 28.5 seconds left through a lead. Hayden Lee taking some steps back now. And Rodriguez in the little knee pull cuts across. And his head stuck in the middle. He's got to hook that down leg. He does hook it. Trying to peek his head out, pushing that thigh down. Lee doing a really nice job of keeping his hip off the mat. Not letting him crack his hip to the mat. And Hayden Lee going to take a 3-0 lead into the third period. And I see Drew Lashley saying neutral. And they're going to go neutral. Lee rode him like a dog in the first period after that first takedown. So Hayden Lee and the Marysville Monarchs trying to get out of the stigma of not getting it done for Central District. They, uh, they got it done last year. Forder got it done for them. So uh, they're going in the direction of getting it done more often. And Lee trying to beat up on the Northeast Ohio guy, which he's currently doing. The Perry Panther. Sean Andrews, little known fact, coached at Perry for a year. We're off the mat. The restart is going to be 128. Rodriguez down 3-0. He's got to find some offense. Lee can put on the track shoes. He hasn't given up a stall warning yet. So he's got two to give there. Oh, that was nice. Lee is very good from this defending position. And Rodriguez has had no answers yet. And Lee could actually set the corner and get the takedown here. Rodriguez is going to have to work on this. Gonna get on, uh, he's going to have to get on the old slow pro and watch this one tonight. See what he's doing wrong. He's shooting in on a guy who's really good at defending low level singles. Hayden Lee. Trying to get the Marysville Monarchs a title and do Clovis, California a favor. And 42 seconds left. Jose Rodriguez unable to solve the Hayden Lee puzzle yet. Hayden Lee. There's a stalwarting on Hayden Lee. Not that much has really changed from what he's been doing the entire match. And Rodriguez catches a low ankle. And now <laughs> Hayden Lee's going to switch on him. And Hayden Lee with 10 seconds left is going to get Marysville Monarchs on the board with a champion. Defeats defending state champion Jose Rodriguez. 30 0. And a pretty dominant performance by Hayden Lee. Monarchs got a champ. And that is not a good start. At 106 and 113 for Perry.